In this video, I'm going to explain anatomy of gluteus maximus. That is very, very big muscle in human body. Gluteus maximus. I am going to explain its origin, insertion, function, innovation, and myofascial connection. Let me talk about its origin first. Origin is very, very broad. It's about this area. Let's say it's from posterior part of idiom. Okay, this area. Plus sacrum. Okay, sacrum. Then coccyx. Okay, these are bony landmarks, right? Idiom, sacrum, and coccyx. Some anatomy books say it attaches on coccyx, or some anatomy books doesn't say on coccyx. Okay, it depends on anatomy book. Okay, idiom, sacrum, coccyx, plus gluteus maximus attaches on few connective tissues. Let's say one of them is this fascia. This is thoracolumbar fascia. Thraco, number, fascia. This is broad myofascia on low back. Okay, thraco lumbar fascia. You know, there's one another gluteal muscle right here. This is gluteus medius, and there is kind of the layer of gluteus maximus and gluteus medius. On this part, gluteus maximus attaches on fascia of gluteus medius. Gluteus medius fascia, let's say. Okay, fascia of gluteus medius, about here. Now, there's more. There is ligament between sacrum and ischium. This is sacrotuberous ligament. Sacrotuberous ligament. Oh my gosh, these are only origin. Idium, sacrum, coccyx, thoracolumbar fascia, fascia of gluteus medius, and sacrotuberous ligament. Okay. What happens when gluteus maximus gets tight? That can affect all of these structures. Can you imagine that? That is very big deal. Now let me talk about its insertion. There are two parts of gluteus maximus. Superior part and inferior part. Superior part attaches on connective tissue. That is iliotibial band. iliotibial band, also known as IT band. This is very, very famous, okay? Superior part, iliotibial band. Inferior part, attaches on femur. Where is it? This is gluteal tuberosity. Gluteal tuberosity. This is on femur, superior part, iliotibial band, inferior part, gluteal tuberosity. Okay, origin and insertion are very, very broad. Right here and here. Now let me talk about its function. Okay, this is profile view. Main function of gluteus maximus is Extension. When gluteus maximus contracts this way, that brings extension. This muscle is very strong hip extensor. This is like the strongest hip extensor in human body. You know, hip extension is necessary in our life. When you run, when you jump, when you walk, right? This is essential for daily activity. Gluteus maximus. Important for hip extension.
there's one more movement that is external rotation external rotation this is also strong external rotator extension external rotation this is hip movement do you remember gluteus maximus attaches on pelvis when this muscle contracts this way that moves pelvis this way what kind of movement is that that is posterior tilt posterior tilt that means gluteus maximus can move hip and pelvis this is important thing right now let me talk about more detail about function do you remember there is two parts in gluteus maximus superior part and inferior part you know superior part and inferior part has slightly different function of course they do both extension and external rotation but one more different function when superior part contracts that brings femur this way that makes hip abduction hip abduction brings hip this way that kind of makes sense correct when inferior part contracts that brings femur this way what kind of movement is that that is hip adduction hip adduction because shape of hip joint is like roughly like this so when superior part contracts that brings abduction when inferior fiber pulls this way that brings femur this way does it make sense because of its orientation these function the slightly different superior part hip abduction inferior part hip adduction this is very very interesting thing what is innovation of gluteus maximus that is inferior gluteal nerve inferior gluteal nerve the gluteal muscles such as gluteus maximus gluteus medius and minimus are innervated by gluteal nerve gluteus maximus is innervated by inferior gluteal nerve gluteus medius and minimus are innervated by superior gluteal nerve it's uh, kind of simple to remember right gluteal muscles innervated by gluteal nerve simple enough now let me explain myofascial connection of gluteus maximus okay profile view again do you remember insertion of superior part iliotibial band right iliotibial band so when gluteus maximus gets tight that pulls iliotibial band this way too much usage of gluteus maximus can induce tightness of iliotibial band that leads to pain around this area that can uh, create pelvic movement dysfunction maybe if you follow this myofascial connection that creates knee pain that is why this connective tissue is important for lower extremity does it make sense gluteus maximus attaches to iliotibial band there is one more muscle that attaches to iliotibial band this muscle this is tensor fascia lata okay tensor fascia lata also attaches on iliotibial band so if you follow this connection you can follow from gluteus maximus iliotibial band now tensor fascia lata or vice versa from tensor fascia lata iliotibial band then gluteus maximus then you can go to down to 
me, right? So there is like a Y shape connection. Tensor fascia lata, gluteus maximus, iliotibial band. So when anterior part gets tight, that can affect posterior part. When posterior part gets tight, that can affect anterior part. This myofascial connection is important for hip joint. Of course, there are other important hip muscles that can aggravate hip movement, but I'm talking about gluteus maximus today, so I just give you new idea to look uh, hip joint, okay? In this video, I explained basic anatomy of gluteus maximus, its origin, insertion, function, innovation, and myofascial connection. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.